Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jeff with MJ Adventuring, and today we are going to relive my childhood with something I haven't done in many years, and that is model rockets. I don't know how many of you have done these before, but growing up, my dad and I, my brother, would often go out to the, uh, the outfield of a local baseball field, and we would launch these suckers into the air. So it's a lot of fun. A little assembly required, but you get to play with rocket engineering. So, I mean, how cool is that? You don't have to be a rocket scientist, uh, but it helps to pretend you are one on TV. So, rockets are the order of the day today. We've got these ones for the kids, the littles, and then we've got some bigger ones for the adults, and we'll see how things go. Stick with us, and hopefully you will learn something about rocket science. As you can imagine, there is more than just a little bit of assembly required, uh, depending on what skill level or what age level these are made for. Um, these are the kids' version, and hopefully they'll go together pretty easily. It is a beautiful new day, and once again, we are here working on our rockets. Uh, I had to let the glue dry overnight and make everything secure, so we're ready to launch. But we've completed them. Uh, you see we've got these smaller ones for the kids, and then a slightly larger one for the grown-ups. And then Jack has this one here. That's pretty cool. It actually launches an egg up into space, and you can see if your egg will crack or not on the way back down so we'll have to try that one out and see how it goes uh, all right so we're going to move around to the front yard and see if we can do a little rocket song Alright, so if you've never used one of these before, the way that you set off a model rocket is with this control package. You have to buy these separately. It comes with these two little probes and you attach them to the engine and then there is a safety key that you insert here and press down and a little light will come on and start blinking and you push this button and that will send it out into... Yes, we are doing this right next to the chicken coop. Uh, this is a social experiment to see the reaction of chickens to rocket science. It's not loud. Five, four, three, two, one. No, let me look for a rat. All right, well, we recovered the egg and uh, the parachute part, and now we have to go see if we can find the main rocket tube body. I think it's gonna be somewhere right in this area. Here, buddy. 
Uncle Russell? Yeah. Well, we never did find that rocket tube, so we just got back to shooting off more rockets. Blast off! Alright, well we were unsuccessful at finding that one and now we have to walk home. What do you think, Jed? I like it. I like we got to need to. Ooh, there's old Gatorade bottles. Yes, old Gatorade bottles by the road. Those are the best. All right, ready? Yeah. Five, Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Last off. Last off. That sure worked. <laughs> Parachute's on again. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. What'd you think of that, Marie? <laughs> Maybe a little bit startling for our budding scientist. Alright guys, go find it! Well, we hope you enjoyed that. It was a little bit different, a little bit change of pace. Uh, not something we do every day. Pretty cool. Uh, definitely one thing we learned is that having a huge open area, like a football field, or even a bigger area, would be perfect because, well, as you can see, we are just surrounded by trees. And so all of our rockets ended up in trees and we only got to shoot one of them twice. So all the rest were one and done. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. And if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Click that bell button to get a notification when we come out with new videos every Saturday morning. Until next time, this has been Jeff and the family with MJ Adventuring. Have a great afternoon.